Come here. It's Bait. It's Fanboy Master. We're, We're all back to talk about extremely cursed images and uh, speak disparagingly about That is a about blessed them. image, still. Cursed! <laughs> Let's not get into any Holy Wars yet. <laughs> Now we're here playing Ill Do 2. I know it's been a while. You all have been watching sports, and now I have to get back to. <laughs> there are two things that a person can watch: sports and Ill Do 2. Yep. Yep. Sports and let's plays are in fact the only types of videos ever made. And uh, here I was ever... LPing a sports game. Yeah. In I... fact, um, uh, TV shows are just let's plays of extremely complicated video games that you're not allowed to play because they're too special. Hang on a minute. How how do I do this? This is a oh. How did you enter that dungeon? It seemed like you just sort of ran off to the side of the. There was a spot well, on the floor, and we ah. got an art gallery. Ah. Okay, that that was a room. Was that the one that I was going for? Because right now we're tackling the frozen court. That was one of the two dungeons down here that we have gotten a map scroll for. I see, said the blind man, who in fact could not see at all. Yep. That that is definitely a thing that happens. I'm I'm leaving. I don't wanna fight all these undead dudes. Nah, fight them. Teach them teach them the will of a warrior. I fought I I'm fighting them then. <clears throat> I'm using my ultimate technique of have dynamite. It's a pretty good ultimate technique. Dynamite ownership is, in fact, a very good way to um uh, to defeat other people. Okay, so let's see. The next one is probably this way. It's it's been a couple months since I last played, on account of sports. Ah yes, yes, Pyre. I need to watch all those videos. <laughs> I haven't really watched many of them because I just haven't because I'm a terrible friend. Um, but I'm really hoping you're like I'm uh, doing your best NFL style commentating the entire time no, playing sports. No, I was considering for the opening introduction thing, like doing Madden style scribbles over all the screenshots, just to really confuse oh, that'd be people. Really good, actually. That would be really great, actually. Yeah. But I decided Man. against it because I wanted to explain the gameplay a bit more thoroughly because it's a little weird at first. Also, I have no idea how you get to this particular dungeon. I, I, no, I mean just like when you set your YouTube previews because you can. Can you do that on your YouTube? Uh, probably. Okay, yeah. When you if you can do that on your YouTube, you totally should go in and replace the preview images with whatever one that you about have generated with just a screenshot of the game covered in X's and O's and arrows. <laughs> Maybe that'd be a fun project to do sometime. Also, this gravestone is an ad for shopping at items. Ah. Also, one of, this other one here, like this one, I think. Also, BRB. This one is a dungeon entrance, but I don't know how to get it, so I'm ignoring it. I'm gonna go to the more official-looking dungeon up here. We're gonna go ah, yeah, official-looking. The more official-looking dungeon. Also, your uh, cursor is on the. Screen. Yeah, I know. Cursor on the screen is good. Okay. That's that's it's how I play all my Let's Plays. And now I'm going to draw even more attention to it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. That's okay. Some people don't like it when that's there. So I, I love it make... when it's there. When it showed up recently in, the in uh, Swordless Links. When it showed up in Swordless Links, um, uh, Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play, I was just thrilled. I was like, ah. <laughs> Finally. It happens, yes. So good. So important. So how do you feel about Lava Beat? I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan. You know, it's pretty cool. Conan? Yeah, yeah. We actually, um, uh, on my recent trip, saw some lava tubes and shit. That was really awesome. Oh, that does sound rad. Yeah, lava tubes are super cool. It's very difficult to find things cooler than lava tubes. You may think you know if things cool over lava tubes, you're probably wrong. I don't want that key. I, I'm, I'm ignoring it. it. Take it. Nope. I have not ignore, key. Do I have not ignore that key. Picks. That is your key now. Nope. You are to take it and you are to love it. Now, I, I'm going to discard it and leave it unwanted. It's going to have horrible issues growing up as a result. 
You just ruined that key's life. Yeah. You're a bad person. Yeah. I'm sorry, I spent too long being a good person playing Pyre and now I have to balance it out. Pyre, wow. Playing Pyre doesn't make you a good person. If anything, it makes you a sports person. <laughs> sports is a force moral, of good. There are three moral alignments. Good, bad, and sports. <laughs> Sports is beyond good and evil. Yeah, sports is sports is past good and evil. I'm this... sure Nietzsche would have agreed. Yeah, no. I, I feel like I feel like that's something I'm, uh, that John Boys would write about. Probably. <laughs> timeline. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, oh, okay. I know what to do here. I'm not okay with you killing all these skeletons. I mean, I really like skeletons. Much like, like a lot of this game, this looks fun, but also like this enemy has too much health. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's but always not a thing. Too much health? Like he was a boss, clearly. Like I can accept him having a decent chunk of health. Fair enough. But like, um, you know. Oh, I the way guess, I move so things is by ramming Zelda my head. So it's sort of like how you have to have to you know, you know green at time. You would use the roll to break basically everything. Um, huh. Fences! Yep. Fences are ruining everything, so I have to actually puzzle this one. I want the contents of this box, even though I have no idea what they are. It could but be rad. You don't know. That's why you gotta do you it. see a box, it's important that you get a box. Oh, I know how to do this. You figure it out? Yeah. It's a solution. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Nah. Look at this yeah. smart boy. Hmm. Cause yeah, I feel like that was correct. Cause if I can knock this one over onto that, then we can get back there and I can just hit those things with a sword and it'll all work out for the best. But, oh wait, that's the answer. Do you have to reset again? Nope. I was on the right track. Ah, good, good, excellent. Now we have a level like, two chain. What's it like being so smart in video games that you get level two chains? It's pretty all right. I mean, there's not really anything you can build a career out of. It's better to be obnoxious and racist if you want to make a career out of playing video games forever. I wouldn't say that's true because JonTron's career has gone down significantly. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, there are a lot of racist jackasses in video games, and I hate them all. Hate them all equally. Yep, they're all bad. Yeah. General racist rule. Jacket. Racist jackasses might try. Oh, you went to the lava. That's sad. Sorry for it. It's okay. It's more afraid of me than I am a bit. No, that's not true. That's snakes. You're thinking about snakes and spiders. It could still be lava. No, no. Lava is lava is notably unafraid of you. What is lava afraid of then? Beetles? No, no. Lava's lava's afraid of its dad. Okay, that's fair. Not like, you know, because his dad's bad or anything, it's just, you know, he's got a complex. Mm-hmm. To be fair, Lava's dad is pretty intimidating to deal with. They're always, like, challenging you to eat their chili, and it's just like, eh, I'm not really feeling it, but at the same time, you feel like you have an obligation to. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, it's not because their dad ever did anything wrong, it's just because, like, you know, that one time they failed their test, and they just sort of sat in their car, wondering, oh, God, I'm gonna have to tell my dad I failed the test. And then over dad will be like, oh, that's not so bad and encouraging and everything, but it just sucks, you know? Mm -hmm. It's difficult being lava. It is. <laughs> what the heck I'm talking about? Um, hey, there's a warp. I will say the puzzles seem, um, uh, in this game, quite difficult, actually. I'm sure they... I've mentioned this, like, months and months ago. It always looks tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just because I'm super bad at puzzles. Also, I don't think it's necessarily the best idea to have every enemy in that room respawn every single time. Maybe it, every third time you walk through it, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where does this warp even go? I ignored it the first couple times, but now I feel like I... Oh, yeah, I don't care. I ignored it, oh, and like, I was right to do so in the first place. That's just like, you know, me whining about basic, like, um, uh, pre-Breath of the Wild Zelda, um, uh, Zelda standards. Which, you know... Zelda! Zelda's good, Zelda's good even pre-Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda, I feel. I prefer Link Between Worlds, but I can totally see people liking Breath of the Wild more. 
Breath of the Wild. I would captured... say Breath of the Wild is my favorite, but it is very good. Uh, I think, like one of the things I love in 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 life, basically, is just running around somewhere and exploring stuff. Uh, yeah, no, it's great at that. Older Zelda's were, were were pretty good at that, but they were always limited by the fact that they were, you know, older. They they couldn't you couldn't do something like Breath of the Wild until Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild literally let you just climb any mountain you saw, and that was absolutely what I was looking for. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah, fantastic. It's so great. Okay, those don't actually the same thing. I thought they did, but nope. They're just written in a language I don't know. Maybe they still say something. Wow, that guy's tall. Huh. Is it possible to solve this puzzle now that you've, like, broken most of your push blocks, or...? It probably is. I can respawn I them by leaving and coming back, but I also don't feel like solving that puzzle. I just... Like, as soon as I see the rewards are key, I'm just like, no, this is the dungeon where I want to use all of my lockpicks, just because I don't like having them up there mocking me. Okay. Oh, you fell to your death. It happens. It's okay, I got crayons, I'm good. So there is a way to punk the, um, uh, the rolling ball puzzles, you just gotta roll at the right time. That tends to be how you solve rolling puzzles. You know what I mean, shut up. <laughs> yep. If you roll past them, I really you appreciate get the concept. I really appreciate the concept that, uh, like, all of your health is just you scribbling in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it just gives the entire feeling that it'll, like. She does this quest mostly because it's a way to pass the time, not because, like, it's actually something she needs to do to survive. In fact, they even say at the end of the first game, it's like, yeah, at least you didn't get trapped and starved to death. That happens way more often than you admit. Which implies that, like, they have starved to death multiple times and just like, wow, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's starving fine. Starving to death kind of sucks, I mean. Yeah. I don't, I don't know many people who would claim starving to death is rad. Why did I pick up that key? Do I need a key? Why, Why wouldn't you pick up that key? I did. Because I'm trying to waste lockpicks, but I guess I have a key. Oh no, it's more of the undead. But Zambos instead of skeletons. I'm gonna go over here instead. It's not a Zambo, but it's a, um, uh, it's a turnip. It's a big turnip boy. Yeah, everyone knows the turnips in this game are undead. Their leader in the last game sense. was the Lichit's turn. It was a Lich and also a turn. Ah, uh, alright, alright, alright. I stand corrected. I hadn't even thought of that. Now that I, now I wish I had. Oh, this is the, Oh, I see. I, I see what I have to do. Hold still while I actually puzzle. Back in the fiery part, that's a lot of vegetable skulls. Time for another boss. <sighs> I will say I do like the puzzles in this game. Um, they seem pretty rad. Mm -hmm. Except when um, except when they're too difficult for my dumb brain. Then they seem terrible. Ah, I boss! Yep. Hey, if you like punching people with a big robot, you just let it out. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, I do like that Cyber Jenny has a 2x4 stuck behind her ear where there would normally be an antenna on any, you know, generic anime robot girl. Yeah. It's like, you know, they were they were just running low on funds, so uh, whatever. 2x4, it works. Also, the stream cut out, and now I'm looking at a screenshot of... Oh, wait, no, it's back. It's back, actually. It's back now. We were wrong about everything. <laughs> We've been betrayed by all of our expectations. My expectations were always worth betraying because my expectations are bad. Wow. Stop with the missiles everywhere. I don't like missiles everywhere. Missiles everywhere are good, actually. Ow. Ow. That, that was damage. I took damage. I took damage and it was fatal, guys. Well, that sucks. 
sorry you you suck at not living. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I just caught up with it. I'm sad now. I saw this terrible fate. It, it broke my. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Met with the worst of fates. Oh, so Finn's. Uh, my Aaron's in the chat. Hi, Aaron. What's Hello. up, Hello. I messed up my window order, so I can't actually see the chat right now. Eventually, I'll get over there. Though. I'm also Harry, really doing yeah. badly this fight. I'm, I'm pretty sure Harry's yeah, you're actually getting wrecked. in this Discord. Like, he can just join us if he wishes to. Yeah, get in, I will allow that. <laughs> you need to be permission. Yeah, you do actually. I have the ability to mute people in my own um, uh, in my own stream. In my own house. In my own Discord. This is my house, son! Wait, is Harry? I'm sure Harry's in Yeah, he is. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I see him, yeah. Aaron, feel free to join. He's semi-AFK. Alright, that's cool. That's fine. At least he has an excuse. No, he doesn't. No excuse. Okay, I'm gonna go on, like, on a complete tangent right now. I've been following okay. this YouTube channel. Um, that was, um, uh, basically, like, one of the, um, uh, founders of the, um, uh, dev team Traveler's Tales from way back in the day. Just oh, yeah, yeah. On YouTube. And he's just been like basically going into all the crazy stuff they did to make a Genesis game do stuff that you couldn't do on a Genesis. I just appreciated their like, oh, anytime it crashes, instead of crashing, just make it so that it goes to the level select screen and pretend you found a code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, it made life so much easier because instead of having to fix every individual like potential crash, because, you know, obviously they didn't want you going to, like, the level select for no reason. They just fixed the most egregious crashes, and then everything else, whatever. Yeah, like, you know, like, stuff stuff that normally, they stuff that's pretty hard to find, but, like, instead of crashing, level select. So you can just, you know, pick up from where you left off. And if you A lot of games do that badly. A lot of games do things like that. The Hulahan Room in Link's Past is actually one of those. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy VI definitely has, like, a default thing that that it drops if it doesn't know what it's supposed to be dropping. Oh yeah, no, like, um, uh, like, like just an if, whatever else, drop this, that's, that's, that's standard. Yeah, like, well, like, most everything is, anything you're supposed to fight has, like, a list of this is what it's supposed to drop, but if you somehow fight something that the game, like, doesn't have data for, it's like, okay, you get this. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, uh, his, one of his most recent videos was a complete explanation of how the, um, uh, the, the the full motion video in the beginning of Sonic 3D Blast worked. Oh, and God. Sonic 3D Blast is, of course, a Genesis game, and Genesis games do not have that, typically, right? Yeah. But there's, like, but, like, um, the entire, like, like if they just counted, like, the, um, uh, the frames and, like, the size of the um, image, like, from, from what they're seeing, it should still be six megs, essentially, and the, the card is four megs, and like, he's like, so, here's how we did it. And it's literally, the actual video file itself is only 80 pixels tall, they stretch it, so the entire thing is compressed, and then they... Oh, so they basically just, like, frickin' integer scaled it? Yeah, they integer scaled it, right? They just basically, they basically just, like, like, um, uh, every, like, every line in the image is just repeated four times. So the video, yeah. like, it's been played, like, all smushed, looks very com smushed, obviously. Um, uh, and they just sort of, like, scale that upwards. And they're like, but that's still, like, kind of bad. And we want it to, like, you know, because you're, using, you're watching this on an old CRT screen, you're not going to really yeah. notice dithering, right? So, yeah. um, uh, so they just basically drew long lines. Whoa. Of, like single colors, like whenever they wanted like to do a kit shade between the sixteen colors they did it with, and then yeah. every other line of like on, on the actual like you know once they stretched it out is offset by a single pixel, so that it looks like a checkerboard pattern. Yeah. And then they rapidly oscillate those every 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 single frame on a sixty frame per second, while the video itself runs at fifteen frames per second, so it looks like it has more color than it does. And it's actually kind of genius. And it just yeah. describes, explains all this, and it's really awesome. I love that account. And that was the um, uh, tangents that I went into while watching Clear die against this boss again and again and again. Yeah, she's. This is her third and final iteration, and she is pulling out all the stops here. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing, like, you know, the giant all the missiles attack, which I like very much. It's extremely good. Yeah. All the missiles attack is. Oh no, there's a new attack. Occasionally, bullet hell happens. Yeah, you know. Bullet hell. Oh wait, that, do you? Her new attack failed. Okay, good, good, excellent. 
So I gotta ask, is she, is the whole thing like her robot form, or is she a robot inside of a robot? Uh, she is a person piloting a giant robot, as you've just seen when you're watching the video, because she just she's exploded awesome. out of it. She's also a Explode. robot, though. Yes. Like, she's, so she's a robot per 